Hi, one best for sports picks. I'm Peter Lozak. His name is Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Couple. We come to you from sportsbookreview.com, SBRodds.com. This is the NBA Odds Couple show for Wednesday, November 9th. We're starting this uh, one a little late in the day because there were five games that didn't have overnight lines yeah, and they that's... were important games. So we yeah. want to give a, a full show here, a huge slate of games. So hopefully, this won't be too long a video, but let's throw the record up. Mike Brenner coming off of yet another winning day. Uh, Mike Brenner, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, life coach you through just to make sure yeah. that you're on the ball every day. I, I, I like, appreciate You know what that. I mean? I mean, you need coaches. You can't just send LeBron James out there with That's you right. know with chicken with his head cut off. You have to have a coach. Yeah. Well, then again, he could be a coach like Maybe, Peyton Manning yes. was. You hey, you know what, though, coaches. before we get too deep, I want to thank you for something because uh -huh. those five lines that weren't out, you know what, and I mean this. Yeah. Pete says this all the time. We're not going to come out half step, and we're not going to yes. come out with a – I want to give our viewers, we owe it to them, for nothing but the only results that are out there. Yes. You know, what is there, it's valid. And I appreciate yes. that. Okay. In this, in, <laughs> that no, sounds Pete, good. That's rare to good. find yes. in this yes. industry. Thank you. Point is, you are you, yeah. you are killing it, Mike Brenner, and I'm just going to try to keep last night. I think I missed a beat on something. You had a you had a winning day. They hit the quarter, yeah. but then they had a look. They had a a, a ten point lead with like two fifty one left. Yeah. I went downstairs to get some soup that my mom, my mother in law from Columbia, made this unbelievable soup. <laughs> by the time I'm hitting up the stairs, right, mm -hmm. I get up there, boom, the half's already over. They're down by four, yep. Yep. so they went the seventeen and six run killed them. And uh, you know they're a young team, and it's going to take time. So. You really kind of I thought there was something that told me you thought Dallas might get in there and get it. I don't no, know. No, I was on the something. Lakers last night. I, I took losses, but all right, let's but get But you know to, what? Real quick, okay. this is important. Luke Walton brought up a good point. He said, look, the role players are probably going to be stepping up for Dallas since two of their stars are out. Mm -hmm. We need to be careful yeah. of that, and that's what ended up biting them in the ass. So yes. we all learn, we live, we move on. All right, we got a huge card yes. tonight. I, this might be one of those cards where I'm giving uh, 12 or 15 oh, plays. Shit. I'm liking a go. lot of them. Let's just uh, quickly uh, go down the line. First one I'm thinking about is uh, is an under in Brooklyn and New York. The, the, the okay. Knicks are having problems on defense. They brought yeah. in uh, Rambus to be the uh, the defensive uh, yeah. guy, and they're going to be Pat Riley's focused. mad that they're not running the. Uh, I mean, uh, um, what's his name? Jackson's mad they're not running the triangle more. Yeah, so they have got a some lot issues on, on on offense, and they're, they're, so I, I think they're going to be focused on defense. Uh, you know, and Brooklyn, of course, is on a back to back. I don't want to bet against Brooklyn. Brooklyn, yeah, that's as bad as they are now, six and one against the I know. spread. It's amazing, and I don't know who's doing it all. It's just yeah, the Knicks are. Uh, and the Knicks' shooting percentage is terrible right now, so mm -hmm. Pete, that might be a good one. And that's the kind of team they're older when they come off of a, a, a day off. Mm -hmm. They they tend to slack a little because right, it right. takes time to crank up that old yeah, motor. Yeah, all right. So it's a little bit risky, but I, I will Pull take that the trigger, yeah. baby. I'll take the first half under and the full game under. What the hell? Okay, okay. what the hell? Got nothing Why to lose. Not? Couldn't, yeah, right. couldn't get any worse. Yeah. All right, next game, moving on down the line. And by the way, if any of these games that I uh, that I mentioned are games that you have a pick on, uh, just please chime in. Sure. Next one I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about an over with Philly and Indiana. Now, I have uh, wow. Indiana overs have been games that I've had no no balls to take them with, uh, but they've cashed and easily. You know, early and this in the season, you said they're going to run an up-tempo offense this year, and you were Right, yeah, Pete. they've been so cashing over. You got to start pulling that trigger. Hell with those no yeah, balls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's two ten right now. Yeah. All right, and Philly's I'll, desperate. Yeah, they got to yeah. do something, right? The problem is, can Philly score? Fuck, I don't know. Can, I, I mean, I'm not talking you know, about them. I'm not backing them for a minute. I mean, this I might heard. be one of those games where like Indy scores one twenty, and in, uh, sorry, yeah, Indiana scores like hundred twenty, yeah. and Philly scores like eighty five, yeah. and it goes yeah. under. Still. They don't yeah. like the way the coach is using Okafor, so now you got mm -hmm. some strife with the GM and the coach. So you got a lot of stuff going on. This could be one of those games where everybody goes, you know what? I'm just going to shoot. I'm just going to shoot. It could be a wild, wild west. All right, now here's one, Mike Brenner, that I think I'm going to give. Tell me what you think of it. I don't know if you've looked into it, but Boston's going out Washington, right? Uh -huh. Washington's a very uh, beatable team, yeah. and Boston is in a situation where uh, they're kind of pissed. Yeah. They want to bounce <laughs> back, and they are a team that has talent. So you have a team with talent yeah. looking a little bit salty, going up against a very beatable team. I'm thinking about Boston first quarter, for doing the old first quarter, first half, full game deal. Okay, I wouldn't talk what you off think? that ledge, but Pete, for me, and I did, I looked mm -hmm. at it, I looked mm -hmm. at you it. You did look at it, Washington's right. one of these Jekyll and Hyde teams yes. right now, and yes. it's you know, I just don't know. And then they've got some quiet health issues. But Boston, I really think they, they should be pissed. They're underachieving a bit. And I know Brad Stevens, the coach, he lit into that team. Yes. Um, I think they lack that one person that said, this is my team. And mm -hmm. now Horford's dealing with injuries mm -hmm. back and forth. Yeah. Their big acquisition. Pete, I wouldn't talk you off it, but you know what? I can't jump in that car. I mean, two, it might run out of gas. two straight games where they actually got torched yeah, on D. And the question yeah. is, was that a fluke or is that something that that, uh, that is fundamental? And if I'm correct, they're coming off a day off, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah, probably yeah. had their asses working. In that yes, gym. yes. Yeah, you know, whew, yeah, because Washington, they rest on their laurels a lot. I don't know. I got to stay the hell away from it. All right, I'm I'll do it. What the it. hell? First half, Pull first quarter, and full game. Go on in three ways, okay? okay? Next one, Mike Brenner. Atlanta coming off of the win against uh, against wow, uh, the Cavs. One. And you know and what? You said yeah, I said, as, soon as, yesterday. You said, as soon as you said that you had no opinion on that game, yeah. I said to myself, man
decide on something, you know, like Interesting. All, all the time, like when he told me, I mean, I can't even like with Ohio State, yeah. when he told me what the betting that the that the public was all on Nebraska, yep. I said in the video, I was like, that tells me Ohio State's aside, even though there wasn't any sharp action so, on Ohio State. So that's uh, a sharp yeah. tool that you have. That's how yeah. you acquire your info. I right. Love that. All right. So that. I'm thinking tonight, uh, I don't know. It just feels like, I mean, Chicago is a talented team. Uh, feels like it's got to be a bounce back spot. Uh, I mean, a, a okay. bit of a, yeah. of a letdown spot for Atlanta. What do you think? Chicago okay. plus three and a half. What well, do you think? Again, here's the team Chicago that was off mm -hmm. yesterday. All right. Mm -hmm. They're dealing with some stuff. You got Dwayne Wade, big acquisition. He's shooting 52% at home. He's only shooting 26% on the road. All right. You got a team, Atlanta, that's. This acquisition of Howard, the guy had 15 boards last night. All right, he's not scoring a bunch of points, and they just got to keep him the hell off the free throw line. But he's doing that job quietly underneath for them. And that's what they lacked last year was that consistent board mm -hmm. of 12 to 15. All right, Millsap's loving this. And right now, Corver, who was uh, he was off yesterday because he just had his third child. Congratulations, Kyle. He'll be back in the lineup today. Pete, they're traveling back after a game that took so much out of them, all right, to, to beat uh, Cavaliers. And it went down pretty much to the wire, even mm -hmm. though they ran away with it towards the th end of the third quarter. Budenholzer's that coach that can get him ready to go. I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm looking at it. And then you know what? I, I just I think the full game for me is going to be the advantage because if Chicago's got anything, I think they're going to blast it early. And I think Atlanta might be a little tired a little early. Mm -hmm. What's the full game? Best shop line, Pistol. For Atlanta, yeah. it would be the Chris Books minus three, minus, one ten, minus 110. Okay. I, I'm, I'm pulling the trigger on that because really? I think as the game goes on, yeah, the bench guys will give them enough relief early. And then you're going to see because, look, that big, big uh, contract that Schroeder signed. Yeah. He's, 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 he's absolutely earning it. 27 last night. I think he's averaging 26. You know what? He's young. He's not going to be tired. This team is real. And uh, the, the, the Bulls are out of sync. They're mm -hmm. out of sync. They look out of sync. I'm pulling the trigger. All Full right. game minus three, Pistol All right. Pete. So you're thinking that it's Loving not that about a, a good spot for, for the Bulls. No, okay. I don't because right now um, that team is they're, they're dealing with some stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. So moving on down the line, these are two games that I don't think I'm going to have a play on, but they're interesting situations. Maybe you can talk me into a play. Okay. First one is the Spurs uh, coming back Ooh, off of wow. a loss. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, going up against Houston, a team that is doing well offensively. They're, I mean, Harden's and why, looking good. And why they are? Mike D'Antoni. Yeah. That's why. They're the running. offense is working. Yep. Uh, so the question is, how old is San Antonio right now? Okay. They bounced back off a loss against Utah, same yep. team. Now they're coming back off of a loss again. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Are they a good play here? You're the expert, Mike Brenner. What do you think? Yeah, because I don't think the age is going to really... I mean, uh -huh. you're right about that, and Parker and Ginobili specifically, but the rest of that crew all right, is a younger crew, and they need to step up in Aldridge, and I think tonight you're going to see Leonard show his MVP. I think uh, Popovich has been laying into this team probably hard mm -hmm. and heavy. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, Duncan even made a surprise visit and just laid into him as well. Uh, here's the thing. I, 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 Harden is thriving on this system right now, and D'Antoni is letting them take the ball up the court, which before they didn't. And I love D'Antoni's answer because they said, why would you do that? He goes, well, it's no secret he's going <laughs> to get the ball anyway. Why not let him start from the beginning? Mm -hmm. Harden said he loved playing for this guy. They're starting to play a little bit of defense, but they're coming off of a game last night, right? Yeah. Am I correct? And there was a lot. It was, you know, up and down, up and down. I think the advantage here, what's the f uh, first half uh, with the Spurs? The first half for the Spurs. Yes. First half. Let's and see. it is in San Antonio. Yeah, it's in San Antonio. The first half would be minus, it's four and a half or five. We'd give you four and a half minus 103. Pinnacle On the line. first half. Yeah. Four and a half, five. <laughs> Minus 103 at Pinnacle. Four and a half, five. <laughs> I'm staying off. Pistol. Okay, all right. You okay. know what? But mm -hmm. you, it wouldn't surprise me if they covered, mm -hmm. but I got to – I'm just staying off of that one. Okay. Harden's next, loving it. Next situation, uh, the Clippers are not coming off a of bounce Buddy, back, but I they are can't. coming off of domination yep. game in and game he, out. Six and one against the spread. This is a team he, that's really getting it done, clamping down on defense, playing great defense, getting that. blowout wins. Six and one against the spread, playing Portland. What's your take on this one, Mike? Well, Brady? again, and never. We just uh, – uh, yeah, you can't rewind it. <laughs> Tape, but I'm telling you, I said it earlier, I mm -hmm. felt it earlier. When I did not hear no drama on mm -hmm. the offseason, I said, something's brewing, something's mm -hmm. cooking. All right? This team's the real deal. And I really think that they know that this year they have as good a chance as anybody else. I believe that. All right. I love Portland. All right? And uh, I cashed with them last night on the first half, first quarter, because that's that young. And I told you, sure. McCollum's yeah. going off. Yeah. 28 yeah. in the yeah. first yeah. half. Yeah. All right. Here's the deal. They're young. They can run it and gun it. All right? But... Towards the end, they were always that's where their breakdown comes. So they're tired. Clippers rested yesterday. They love what's going on. I heard that Blake Griffin is having a relationship with the whole team like never before. They're solid. All right. This is an absolute for me no brainer. I am all over all right, mm. the first quarter. Okay. We'll give you the half. we'll give you the pinnacle opener on that one. We're gonna start giving pinnacle yes. openers on the first quarters because Best, I checked yeah. that and uh, and Pinnacle actually has a significantly better uh, just odds. They have ten cent lines on first quarters yep. as opposed to a bookmaker that has twenty cent lines. So we're gonna use pinnacle yep. openers. Uh, the How lines 
that first half, Pistol. The Hit first, me with that the first one. half for the uh, for the Clippers would be five. Uh, uh, five and a half minus one oh nine. Cal five and a half. It jumped up mm-hmm. and jumped up. I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> no, time out, time out on the playing field. <laughs> okay. Time out on the okay. playing field. Here's right. what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Because right. that Portland energy, that's fun to watch. Yeah. I'm going first quarter because I think okay. Chris Paul can't wait to get the hell okay. out there. Okay. I'm skipping the half. Okay. And baby, I'm going to game. Is it still nine and a half? It's nine and a half market I'm wide it. minus one ten. I'm seeing a fifteen point win because okay. the youth and the inexperience. Terry Stotts has got a, a work in progress, and it's nice to see. But these guys will wear them down. I'm telling you, okay. minus nine and a half pistol. I love it. All right. Then the got next game, I have up. to ask you about uh, Dallas. Of course, coming Woo! off the win, going into Golden State. Golden yep. State right now, obviously massive favorite as expected. Sixteen or sixteen and a half is a market wide line right now. Yep. What do you think? No okay. brainer. On Golden State here. Yeah, what do you and, think? And you know what? Last time, the, the, all the spots didn't didn't mm-hmm. grab with them, but I was okay with that. Mm-hmm. It was one of them. I'm okay with it. All right. I learned a lot after last night. Carlisle had to use some role players because Nowitzki and, and Deron Williams out, and it, it you know it, it shocked the other team. Lakers didn't have to deal with it, and they're a younger team. Well, this team's not younger. Golden State will be able to deal with anything that Dallas brings. All right. Dallas is older. They're tired. They played a hell yeah. of a game last night. They're tired. Golden State's rested, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you. Yeah. 13 threes for Steph Curry the yeah. other night. And guess who the first one was that went over and slap him five and hug him? It was Durant. These guys are starting to gel. This tonight is going to be a wheelbarrow shovel. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is a blowout yeah. pistol. Yeah. I need the first quarter, which will give the pinnacle. pinnacle I need the first half, which first probably half ain't even 10. out. It's 10 minus 105. Oh, my God, it's, I love it. give you the heritage line on and that I'm one. I'm taking the 16 or 16 and a half okay. in the game. Minus uh, 16 minus 105 is the line we will give you, and I'm going on there you on, the jump first in this on the car, first I'm half with you. you as well. Just yeah. the first half. Okay. Minus 10, uh, minus 105, uh, and uh, and I'll be on that what one with you. What do you think of the breakdown, Pistol? Talk to me. Perfect classic breakdown, and actually this is one spot where a where I think that actually Golden State minus 16 actually might be a good bet. You know, I'm I very so tempted. I mean, you, you know, know what I like also? Steve Kerr, the coach, said, I have to rethink my mm-hmm. uh, strategy, mm-hmm. okay? It's it's not these guys, it's me, and I think I'm starting to figure it out. Man, I love hearing that from a coach. Yeah. God, I love this stuff, yeah. Pete. Uh, yeah, I'm real tempted I'm to take uh, Golden I'm State t- on, the, I, on the full game. All right, Mike Brenner. Uh, no, don't get tempted. <laughs> really? Because no, I don't want to hear about the balls tomorrow. Let's do it. Okay, fine. Pull that trigger! Minus 16, minus 105. I'll also be on that with you. All right, I pulled Mike them in Brenner. the truck, Dennis. Uh, what other games are there that you want to uh, give a pick on it. Okay, any. this is a great okay. one, and I All love right. emotion and momentum. You talk about a pissed off mm-hmm. coach because you mm-hmm. said earlier mm-hmm. that somebody was pissed, whoever team that mm-hmm. was. Uh, who was that? Somebody. Was uh, all these teams. No, are but you said there's pretty one much in every team is. Oh, oh Boston. Yes, Boston. you said they're yeah, really pissed. Yeah. Well, here's one that's even more pissed. Mm-hmm. Van Gundy. All right, uh, I'm talking about Stan and the Detroit Pistons. Yeah. This team got shellacked. Yeah. They were down 30 yeah. points yeah. the other night against the Clippers. All right, yes. that's why you need to jump on that right. half quarter right. and everything right. else right. with the Clippers. Right. 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 right, here's the deal. They had a day off. They got their asses chewed and handed to them. One of their big players, Andre Drummond's, like this is going to stop. It's going to stop. All right, they're going against a tired Suns team. All right. That gave fits last night. That literally just put Portland through hell last night. They lost 124 to 121, a very late game. All right. You got a rested yeah. Pistons team that's pissed off. Nine o'clock Easterns when this bad boy is tipping off. And I'm telling you right now, this is a classic no brainer. What's the full game? Phoenix, one, just one note. Phoenix is five and two against spread over the last seven. They've, they've, I love been, it. they've been, they have some Tyson struggling. Chandler there. got some personal problems. Yeah. Didn't play last night. They worked well without him. Okay. Okay. But, but that's a Portland team they worked against. Very right. young team. Okay. Okay, so right. what do you want? I want the Pistons. What's the f- full game? Full game is uh, is uh, is three and a half oh my or God, four, so it's minus three and a half, minus one ten. What's the first half? Pistol and the first Pete? half is one and a half, minus one and a half, minus Pistol actually Pete, minus one and a half. We're not stopping there. We're yeah. going to go to the pinnacle opener on the, the first quarter. On the first you, quarter, Brenner's all right. Pulling it, and I yeah. feel it tonight, guys. And I will do the same thing. I will take uh, not the full game. I'm going to take the first quarter okay. and the first half. Pete, on what do you Detroit. think, though? Van Gundy's one of them ones when he speaks. People listen, buddy. And Detroit. I mean, I've been looking for. I looked. Detroit has some tough games coming up too. They have the Spurs on the road, Denver on the road. Better man up right. Is, yeah, they're going to have yeah. to do it here. All right, I will take Detroit Caldwell, first Caldwell, Contavious, Pope, whatever his name <laughs> is. There's about <laughs> yeah. three or four names to the make the one yeah. name. He's going to have a hell of a night. All right, Mike Brenner, is that it for you? Let Anything else? Let me see, because you got me so fired up. <laughs> I lost track of what I was doing here, Pistol Pete. All right. Real. No, that's it. That's I it for you? i got to review them, though, okay. so that'll give Yeah, go ahead, time. review, review. All right, here we go, guys. Again, feeling it. Uh, for me, it's a bounce-back night, even though we were 3-2. and two. I expect better, okay? I'm going L.A. Clippers. They're going to open up that can of whoop-ass early and often on the first quarter, and I just changed my mind halfway through right now. Okay. 
right. All right. Okay. I'm taking that first half, too. What will be the first half Clippers? On what? On the, on the, on the Clippers? L.A. Clippers, uh, yeah. It's uh, four and a half, right? It's four and a half. I'm going. I'm dropping all that. We're going quarter, the first half. Oh, no, sorry. Five and a half. Five, five and, and a half. half. And I'm going the full game minus nine and a half. Portland's going to be too tired. All right? We're going Atlanta, just the full game tonight, because they're going to pick their legs mm-hmm. up in the second half, minus three. Mm-hmm. And then we're going the Pistons. Oh, God, I love this one, Pistol. <laughs> we're going the first quarter, pinnacle opener. First half minus one and a half. The full game minus three and a half as Coach Stan Van Gundy's going to open up that whoop ass himself. And we're going to end it with another trifecta, baby. Golden State, they're going to do it. And I'm telling you, Dallas, oh my God, they're going to be wish they were playing the Lakers again. First quarter's going to be a pinnacle opener. First half minus 10. Pistol Pete, full game All minus right. 16, baby. That sounds good. And I'm adding, wow. I'm going to add Washington team total under 106 and a half minus 107. And I will take the uh, first half and full game overs in the Philly Indiana game. Hopefully okay. uh, that one will uh, wind up question. getting over. Early okay. into the season, yeah. how are your totals compared to your size in NBA? And I know right oh, now both, this is both, your... both significantly uh, crappy. Yeah. So, okay. uh, well, yeah. And I didn't mean it like that. I'm saying <laughs> yeah. you have a feel for them one more than the other. You know? um, I feel like I'm a little bit better on sides out. Totals are very. I mean, the thing about totals is that most of my totals plays come like an hour before tip off. Yeah. So, uh, Again, but there's yeah. some, you know. Uh, and now you I'm going to put you on front street because yeah. my, my Twitter followers asked me to. Yeah. Pete, what's going on with Twitter? You need to step it up. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. You had a guy, I had a guy <laughs> that told me literally, pin him up against the wall, Brenner, and tell me better accept my damn follow. <laughs> Okay, all right. I will accept all those things right now. Uh, and uh, after we uh, after we do uh, whatever we got to do right uh, after this video. We got a lot to do. With yeah, that. hey, we got, got a lot of preps. Yeah. basketball Talk, odds couple shows starting in the next day or two, so tune in for that, too. Hey, you know what? Is that we're true? Busy. Yes, we're it is. We're going to have to do college basketball plays every day? Oh, my God. Holy crap. Hey, we're busier than a one-legged man <laughs> in an ass-kicking contest, Pistol Pete, but guess what? We're keeping up. All right. Sounds good, Mike Brenner. We'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday card. Yes, we will. want to throw some props out to our followers. And, hey, guys, click on that logo right now and subscribe. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.